Hi guys, welcome to TechBased. In this video, we're going to talk about the latest Windows 11 Insider preview build for the dev channel, which is the build 25,300. We finally surpassed this mark and now we are on the 300 mark. And in this build, we have some interesting new features and new additions in the Windows 11 operating system. Of course, as in every video like this, I'm going to show you what has changed, what has improved and also what is fixed in this newest Windows 11 Insider preview build for the dev channel. If you enjoy videos like these, please don't forget to leave a like below and also also subscribe to the TechBase channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one. So let's begin with the video. First of all, Microsoft is providing official ISOs for this build. Of course, you can get them from the official Microsoft website. Just select the edition and the build, of course. Confirm, you're going to have to then select the language. For example, English United States. Confirm, and then you're going to have the Windows 11 Client Insider Preview build 25,300. First of all, in this build, Microsoft is introducing live captions in more languages. In this build, live captions gains the ability to also provide captions in Chinese, French, German, Italian, Japanese, Portuguese, Spanish, and other English dialects. I think this is pretty interesting and you can also download speech recognition and so on. More info about this in the article below in the video's description. An interesting new addition in this build is the different treatments that Microsoft is testing out for the snap layouts. The snap layouts, as you know, is the menu that appears whenever you are hovering over the maximize icon in File Explorer or on a certain app that you want to maximize. And in this build, Microsoft is investigating ways to improve the usage of the snap layout, such as decreasing the hover time required to invoke the flyout when you mouse over the maximize or restore button in an app's title bar. And also, in addition to a few other tweaks, you'll notice some treatments will also pull in the icon of the app window you are working in. I don't have that in this example. And they also adding a descriptive title, which says snap this window. I think this is pretty interesting. And also, you're going to be able to see some screenshots of how the icon would be shown in the new snap layouts. In this build, we also have some changes to voice typing. The change to sync voice typing settings, automatic punctuation and voice typing launcher is rolling out to all Windows insiders because this was only available to some insiders since the build 25,227. More info about this in the article below as well. Regarding the settings app, Microsoft updated settings apps and startup to make it easier to access more information about the apps listed. Right clicking on a a Win32 app in start or searching for the app and choosing uninstall will now take you to the settings to uninstall the app and I think that is very very nice. Also Microsoft improved the upgrade experience to the new Windows subsystem for Linux store app mentioned in the build 25272 so it now prompts for installation if WSL.exe is invoked. So regarding changes and improvements this is all there is to it in this build but now let's talk about some fixes. We have some general fixes. Microsoft fixed the underlying issue related to combase.dll causing crashes with multiple apps using get known folder APIs after upgrading to the build 25,290 including the notepad and Windows terminal for IME users. This issue is also believed to be the root cause of some insiders finding that certain actions in File Explorer were taking minutes to complete in these builds. Microsoft also fixed the issue causing rendering issues in difficulty using Windows recovery environment. And they also fixed an issue where some users experienced issue authentic authenticating into enterprise websites that require Windows integrated authentication. Regarding the taskbar and system tray, the ability to show seconds in the clock on the system tray first introduced with build 25,247 should return after updating to build 25,300 if it had disappeared for you after upgrading to the build 25,295 last week. And you also have the taskbar settings where on taskbar behaviors you're going to notice show seconds in system tray clock uses more power. They fixed an issue that was causing taskbar to be cut off after resolution changes and they also fixed an issue where when hovering over app icons on the taskbar could switch window focus unexpectedly. Regarding widgets, as a result of fixing the issue causing third-party widgets to get unpinned when signed in with a Microsoft account across multiple Windows 11 devices, the most recent widgets update in the dev channel will unpin third-party widgets. Insiders will need to go back to their widgets board and repin those widgets again. And also the link for find more widgets in the widgets picker currently is no longer broke and will point to the store collection. I think that is also really nice that they fixed this. Regarding File Explorer, drag and dropping files and folders across tabs should work again. Regarding the task manager, we have a bunch of fixes. The process names typed into the search box should no longer unexpectedly get spell checked. Fixed a couple of issues with how narrator was reading out content in task manager. They fixed an issue where the drop downs and settings might not match your currently selected theme when using search on the app 
history page results should no longer suddenly disappear if you open the default start page drop down and settings clicking the task manager window should now make the drop down disappear dragging the window using the search box area should work now like any other areas of the title bar they fix an issue where ending processes in the details tab wasn't showing a confirmation dialog increasing the text scaling should no longer result in a see more button appearing with no contents if you do a search and then press the down arrow keyboard focus should now move from the search box into the results if you have a contrast theme enabled and select one of the rows in the processes page that row should now show that it's selected and they also fix an issue where focus might not get set properly to search leading to narrator not saying that focus was on the search box and another fix they fix an issue where the narrator's focus wasn't going back to the quick settings window correctly when using the back button in the cast page and this is basically it with the build 25300 i think this is a pretty interesting build and of course we're hoping that we will be able to see some hidden features that we can enable in the coming days don't forget to check out the article below in the video description for more info about this build regarding known issues and of course other information about features that we've talked about in this video if you enjoyed this video please don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe the tick base channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one i was emmanuel from tick base until next time have a nice day